Good morning, forensic scientists. Today we're gonna to be doing a blood typing activity. This is for your blood typing crime scene. We're gonna need antibody serums to test for the blood type, as well as a suspect blood, and three individual toothpicks, and a tray that we can mix in. So we're gonna start by placing two drops of each serum into their spot on the tray. So this is our anti-A serum. We put two drops in the A. We do the same with our anti-B serum. Anti-B. This is the B. And then we have anti-RH serum. So these serums each have antibodies for A, antibodies for B, and antibodies for RH. We now have our suspect blood here and you want to add just one drop to each well. Now we need three toothpicks because we don't want to contaminate any one of these wells. So we just gently stir the A well with one toothpick then we want to set it aside. We gently stir the RH well with one toothpick and then we set it aside. And then we gently stir the B well with the toothpick and then we set it aside. Now you wait to see for a reaction in the A well, the RH well, and the B well. And you can tell if you have a reaction if you see it get kind of cloudy. So the B well is still clear here. This one's getting cloudy. It'll keep getting more and more cloudy. And the A well is starting to get cloudy and it'll keep getting more and more cloudy. After you're done, wash the tray and leave it near the sink. Is there a reason you put white paper under oh. it, Mr. Young? Yes, the white paper is so we can see the reaction. If I put it over the black, you can't see the reaction as well. Have a great day.